Hey my friends, Rocket here. So today's garden segment, boys and girls, is crepe myrtles. Look, this is February, and you know everybody is pruning their crepe myrtles. And that's fine if you're getting paid to do that. Look, I'm gonna pay you to prune my crepe myrtles. I just want you to take a chainsaw and cut it down half. You know that's not proper. Yeah, I'm paying you. Okay, whatever. So hey, I brought my dog out here. Come here, Storm. That's a storm. Come here. She says no. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know, she's pretty. Okay, so look, see these crepe myrtles? These are all gonna be about 30 feet tall. And I don't know if you can see that way down there past the bales of pine straw and the firewood. That's a gorgeous Natchez crepe myrtle, mature height. So these are gonna do that same thing. But here's the deal. I'm not gonna come in and prune any of these. I'm gonna thin them as I get a weird branch. If I get a weird branch going this way, then I'm gonna come back and do a flush cut. Now I've already done that because well, I did have some weird branches and then the snow made them go down and break. So prune those off. Let me show you another little tip that you can prune. See all this down here at the bottom? I don't know if you can see that very good. It's got some leaves in there. These are suckers that are coming up from a knot. Could have been I had a limb here and we had to prune the limb off because it broke. And I get a lot of sucker growth. So what I need to do is actually take a chainsaw, get all the dirt, as much dirt as I can, away from this see how now can you see that i've got this knot pulled out right here i need to prune that off because if i don't i'm gonna keep getting these globs and globs 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 of sucker growth down here and so that we're gonna prune off we're gonna let these be we're gonna keep these so here's a question i get well my neighbor's doing it and their yard looks great all right, we're talking about pruning crepe myrtles and now we're over to the whole yard. Yeah, but he's a doctor, he must know. No, he's stupid, might be a great doctor, but a horticulturist, no. No, don't butcher, don't butcher, don't do that. But you know, if I don't prune my crepe myrtle, I can't see out my window. Well then, take it out. Get a variety that stays low. They make, they make, there are crepe myrtles, loud, loud vehicle, loud vehicle. Hold on, let this truck pass, let this truck pass. Loud, loud, loud. There are crepe myrtles that only get 18 inches tall. These are gonna be 30 feet tall. And look, here's a tip for all you power line people. Look up, like don't put a crepe myrtle where I'm at. Like right, right here. See the power lines above me? Don't put a 30 foot tall, cause they're gonna come in and butcher them. They got right away clearing, don't do that. A good variance is stay at least 15 to 25 feet away from your power lines before you're, you, just look up, look up. Oh, that's gonna go through my crepe myrtle. Don't do that. Hi, my friends. If you've got questions, you know how to get in touch with me. So, hey, speaking of crepe myrtle pull, pruning, pulling? I'm pulling my dog. Pruning. So here's a Jesus quote. Jesus quote, just for you, because no matter what you think you've done in the past, no matter how bad you think you've been, he still loves you very much.